how's it going? Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the tools that I use to develop apps on my computer. Why am I doing this video? Because a lot of you out there are just getting started and you may not know where or how to get these tools. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do all of that. So in this episode, we're going to be covering three kinds of tools, the terminal. Uh, so the terminal is what I use to run tests, to issue commands to the Rails application. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what I do to set it up. So let's start with that. And uh, over here, I have the Oh My ZSH website open. And this is the, the shell that I use. And what it is, is if I head over to my terminal over here, is you see this here where it says the project name and then it shows me which branch I'm on with Git. Uh, so Oh My ZSH allows me to customize the terminal and do all this cool stuff. They also have themes, so if you don't like the look of the default, you can change the theme and get it to look exactly the way you want. All right, with that out of the way, let's move over to the text editor. So the text editor that I'm using is Sublime Text 3, and this is what it looks like. Again, you can apply themes to get it to look just the way you want. Uh, it does cost money. It's $70. Uh, if you head over to their website over here, you will see that you can buy... Uh, sublime text and I've been using this for years it's the best you know money I've ever spent uh, I highly recommend it but if you're gonna get it uh, get version 3 so you can download version 3 and you can buy the license and uh, it'll it'll just work and uh, it's very efficient on your computer it runs really fast and I highly recommend it if you don't want to spend money there is another option that is Atom so Atom is made by the guys who made GitHub and I have it open right here. So this is what it looks like. It's very nice, very slick. It is a little bit of a resource hog uh, compared to Sublime Text. It's not as efficient, but it does work and it works well. Uh, and it's really, really getting there and getting more and more efficient all the time. So if you want to use something free, this is the way to go with the text editor. So I'm also going to talk about version controls. So as you know, I use, uh, you know, version control from my terminal and uh, usually uh, I just type the commands into the terminal. However, if the terminal is uh, scares you, uh, what you can do is you can get the version control UI, uh, Git desktop, GitHub desktop. Uh, you can over, head over to this desktop.github.com website download the GUI that they provide for free. Uh, and so that's amazing. Uh, you know, the guys at GitHub always give stuff away for free. They're doing a great job. So um, you can use the UI. It's a lot easier than just using the terminal. Um, and you can follow along with me uh, just fine. And uh, yeah. And if you want to have a little bit of a more of a power tool, I also recommend Git Tower. Uh, Git Tower um, is a very powerful UI for Git. And uh, if you're just getting started out and you want to understand Git better and how it all works together and you have a nice, slick looking UI, this is the way to go. It does cost money, uh, so this is not a free option. Um, yeah, with that, I want to wrap it up. So in this episode, we talked about some free tools and some paid tools. And if you're just getting started, where you can get these tools from, so you can follow along with uh, with my tutorials on tutorials on uh, on on my YouTube channel. And uh, I also want to mention that for Oh My ZSH, I have a video uh, that shows you how to set it up. I'm going to put the link up uh, in one of the corners, wherever. And yeah, with that, I'm going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.